Good evening, good evening, gang. Just had to show you guys my old faithful. I put them new black headlights in my car. You know, we got to keep old faithful still uh, looking nice. So I put me a new, some new headlights in it. Black and got rid of them old chrome ones. But this ain't the reason why I turned the video on. That's right, the name. Look at that paint job guy. He's talking about 15 years now. On this 83C10. Wow, it's shiny. Well, uh, let me give y'all guys an update. Uh took my 2020 Silverado to the uh, dealership this morning. Uh, they came and picked it up free of charge uh, because my truck is still up on the warranty. Yes, I could have went on and put that caliber back on, but I didn't have the bolts. The bolts of that thing come out the screws come out of that truck and i went to the parts store and nothing they didn't even have the caliber in stock so hey i called the dealership up gave my vn number they came and picked it up i went back to the dealership to see what he was talking about and the guy went on ahead and ordered another screw and he said pro possibly that he probably had to get caliber after he put it up on the machine put it up in the air to find out what it looked like a button now but i mean they backed it up and put the forward and everything today but he said what well, looked like to him is that the um whoever put the slotted rotors and I had upgraded all my discs all my brakes because I, I did upgrade on all of that to handle them big wheels so they said the screws got locked tight on them uh some blue tape around the screws and they're hard to come out so whoever put the uh um help me out guys <laughs> whoever uh put on the calibers had put on the rotors slider rotor and drill disc and brakes they should have put some more loctite blue tape back around the screws because they didn't for to come back out so that is the main issue so you know, I'm going to have them check all of the screws, possibility to take all of them out, and then put their blue, whatever, green Loctite back around the screws and put them back in all of the calibers. So, they still had to order everything, so, you know, that might be next week. But, guys, I'm just glad that you know, my wife is okay. She wasn't on the interstate when it happened. You know, all of that. You can get another vehicle. All this stuff is material. It's, yes, sometimes it's good to have, but life is more important. Um, so that's that. You know, one day at a time. Uh, I got, so now I got this truck back here. My wife, Beard Gun Clay, 2012. Been great to have. So I do thank God that uh, I'm able to still, you know, got a little know-how, a little knowledge in fixing on cars. Saved a lot of money. But guys, I know you don't want to hear me babble on, but I still had to give you an update on that 2020 Silverado. 18,000 miles on it. So, hey, up on the warranty, just go ahead and let them do it.
because uh, some of my lights was come on too. And then I want to make sure uh, that when all the brake fluid went out, you know, I want to make sure all the actuators, pumps, all that stuff still in good shape. So um, I got to leave it up to them. Now, if it is truck right here, <laughs> I'll be up under there. So I uh, thank you all of you guys for uh, your concerns. Thank you for your prayers, but uh, all is well, you know, and thank you guys for your texts, your messages. Hey, I really appreciate it. You know, can't leave this world alone. Well, guys, as you see the title of this video, uh, I feel to say, I put title, I'm gonna put the title, taking delivery, but I already took delivery. Uh, Friday, my boss man let me off work early to go fill out some paper uh, at my credit union. Because, uh, you know, I do all my stuff basically online. So I was looking through some vehicles and I seen this brand new vehicle um, that was pretty cheap, rather, but not cheap. No, they don't make no sense. Let me say why... Why I say that because I was looking at a 2018 and it had 50,000 miles on it. So I said, you know, my wife loved these vehicles. So let me go ahead and give her, you know, the vehicle that she been wanting. But I don't give a 2018. So with 50,000 miles on it. So with that being said, I contacted them people when, and going to buy the truck. Call them and everything and I said, okay, I'm going to go you know, get this check for you guys. So when I got back to my office, I started looking back online and I seen on Auto Trader, I believe, Auto Trader Cargo, one of the two. And I seen a brand new truck for five thousand dollar more than the eighteen. So I said, wait a minute now. I can get a brand new truck just five thousand dollar more. This can't be right. So I contacted people and they told me it was correct. Because they gave all the a lot of rebates uh, that was going on. And hey, I said, <laughs> I want it. I said, send me the buyer's order. And so I sent the buyer order to my credit union. I said, scratch that 18. We going with the 23. And she's like, oh, so that's going to save you even more money. I like, ma'am, she said, yes, sir, because with your credit score, and then it's a brand new vehicle, well, the interest rate go down even more. So the same amount of money you going you were gonna spend on the 18 is about the same amount of payment on the 23. Hallelujah. All right, guys, I know that's all I'm gonna say on that. So let me walk backwards to show you what I'm taking liver of. I know y'all don't want to hit me babble, so y'all fast forward. <laughs> That's okay, too. Well, guys, here we go. Bam. 2023. Jeep Wrangler. And you know, guys, that from 18 to even this year model here, basically, it's no different. Same truck. Same body style. And this is my first time really being in one and driving one. So, I had an option, and I got this one for my wife. And I noticed uh, a lot of people with the hard top. So I told the people, I want to get that soft top. I always wanted a convertible car. You know, I had a Carvet. 
what you can take the top off, but nothing like <laughs> dropping the top. You know what I mean? So, best of both worlds. And guys, I wanted that black one. It was a black one. It was straight all black. Y'all know I'm a fan of all black because I'm a Silverado all black. But I already knew uh, my wife, she rented this vehicle when she went back home from Ohio. And she always fell in love with the color and everything. So, it's not about me. Because I would have got the all black one. And uh, made a 20 twin. twin. I would have twin it up. Uh, made her truck look like my truck. But, guys, I already ordered the running boards Friday night. So, I'm going to put that running board on it. You can see some of the brand new trucks already come with that running board. And the running board about 200 bucks. I started to get the one on electric, but I like, uh-uh. So, and it's getting a little dust dark. So, guys, another video, I'll show the inside of this thing. But I'm going to tell you, I am uh, very impressed uh, with this vehicle. Very impressed. Me and my wife and kids been out all day in this thing. And, you know, my wife, she didn't know because I told her I rent it out uh this vehicle since my truck was in the shop so it was very a uh, great surprise i started recording her as me telling her at my mother house that this ain't a rented, rented vehicle this is your truck so guys that, that was a great <laughs> surprise for her that i got her brand new truck and uh you know i didn't want to trade that in so, I thought about trading the Buick Enclave in, but, you know, I didn't. So, it's nothing like still that, you know, God put me in a great place to buy a brand new vehicle. First owner. Now, I got a 2020 and a 2023 vehicle. And uh, stay tuned, guys, because even though this is my white truck, you already know that I'm fit to do the do to this joker here. So y'all stay in, stay tuned to what I'm fit to do to this. Like I said, I just ordered the running boards and I've been walking around this thing today as I am tonight. Looking it over to see what I want to do to it, what I am going to do to it. I like that convertible. Mm. I like that convertible. And you know, these trucks so popular. So many trucks like this run around here, you know. And uh, I don't see them fixed up all type of ways. So it ain't going to be nothing that I can do different from anybody else but that black truck i got that silverado that's different but i'm gonna uh, look online and see what my guy can make for me to do something different but i doubt it but you guys you know them wheels ain't gonna stay on now But right now, next video, the running boards got to get on now. They're going to be black as well. The um, satin black material. So, hey, y'all, let me know what you think. 2020 Jeep Wrangler four-door, oh, four-wheel drive. But next video, I'll be showing you inside and showing you all the features that this truck have. Guys, thank you for everything again. 
you know, hey, I salute to you guys. Appreciate you. Peace and love. <laughs>